It is often said on days like today that it is a historic day, but this truly is. That statement is so appropriate for today. It's a day that we are here to celebrate. It's a day that we are here to build something brand new. The landscape of Corpus Christi Southside is changing for good, and with it, the educational offerings at Del Mar College are taking a leap into that future. Look around you because the farm fields, chicken coops, and livestock pens that were once here will soon be replaced by a state-of-the-art college campus. It's been a long journey to get to this point. We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the support of the community and many key groups within our city. The Delmar College Board of Regents first envisioned a Southside campus in 2009. By 2012, the concept was a key component of the college's facility master plan, which assessed the college's overall long-term needs. The process ramped up in 2014 when the district voters approved, as part of the bond referendum in 2014, $1.8 million for Del Mar College to develop a Southside campus master plan. We conducted exhaustive research and asked the community for their feedback. Everything affirmed the need for a new campus. We formed a team that included Dr. Escamilla to go on the road and engage the community's feelings about the new campus. We conducted numerous town hall meetings and presentations across the city outlining plans for the new campus. The plans were received with great enthusiasm and excitement. And as you know, in 2016, voters approved a $139 million bond package to build this campus and address the population explosion on the south side. Over 42,000 residents in Corpus Christi and in Del Mar College District approved this bond election. Today, more than 41% of our Del Mar students live in south side zip codes. So we know that we have got the need today and a growing need in the future. All one has to do is look around to know that this area is booming. There are at least today five new apartment complexes within a mile radius of this site. New residential subdivisions are sprouting up everywhere. Local media have reported an average of a thousand new housing issues, issue, permits, excuse me, a thousand new housing permits issued per year since 2010. CCISD is grappling with the need for additional classroom space due to south side growth. Just a stone's throw away and represented today by that outstanding drum line and cheering group, Veterans Memorial High School has enrolled more than 22,000 students just four years after its opening. By the way, can we give a shout out to the drum line and the cheerleaders? Thank you, veterans. Thank you, Eagles, for being here. We appreciate it. And good luck as you continue your quest towards state. Yeah, keep going back. The new Mary Carroll High School is going to be open uh, in 2022. So we know that Del Mar's Southside campus will be uniquely situated to accommodate students graduating from high schools along the Yorktown corridor, including CCISD, London ISD, and Flower Bluff ISD. Del Mar College must grow with the community to, to, in order to continue offering the excellent higher education opportunities that our residents deserve and to ensure that our students have the knowledge and skills they need to be competitive in local and global economies. We could not have selected a better team to design the Southside campus. Gensler and Turner Ramirez Architects, both highly respected firms, have worked with us from the beginning to design the innovative campus that will truly complement the surrounding area and be the home to three centers for excellence, which Dr. Escamilla will speak about in a minute. The rendering in our, of, our, of the new campus is included in our program today. And it's important to add that during every step of the planning and development, we've sought to hire local firms as much as possible. Turner Ramirez Architects, WKMC Architects, and General Contractor Fulton Construction are a few of them, along with AGCM, our construction management firm. Again, I want to thank everyone for being here today. On behalf of the Del Mar College Board of Regents, we thank you. We thank the Corpus Christi voters and taxpayers for believing in our vision for the future. Also, although work has already started on the development of these 96 acres, evident, evidence of that are these cranes and this platform and so forth, the clock starts now running on what will be a beautiful, gleaming campus. We often hear that our city suffers from, from a brain drain as a result of students leaving 
to pursue careers elsewhere after they receive their education. I believe this new campus will play a part in addressing that trend. We'll talk more, students. Among the features, this campus will house some of Delmar College's centers of excellence and enable us to take them to the next level. That's a pretty high level, let me tell you what. The demo tables are here today to offer a glimpse of three of them, three of the signature programs, biotechnology, culinary arts, and architecture. Make no mistake about it, these programs are excellent by any standard. Daniel Azadani at the biotech table is one of our superstar graduates and a promising young scientist who has already had some of his research published. Students at this new campus will also receive world-class architectural instruction. Gensler, Turner Remedius, I know y'all already hired him. Currently, that's thanks to a 2013 articulation agreement, students can complete the first two years of their architecture education at Del Mar College and transfer to Texas Tech University in Lubbock to finish their bachelor's degree. Guns up. All right, Vikings and Red Raiders, it's, a, it's just a wonderful mix. Another articulation agreement is being planned with the architecture program at UT San Antonio, just right up the road. Much of the heavy lifting on these agreements was done by our own Laura Wright, a Corpus Christi native, chair of Del Mar College's tech, Del Mar's tech, Technology Education Department and assistant professor of architecture and drafting technology. Laura, where are you? She's in the back over there. Our architecture and engineering related degree programs have long needed a home with adequate space to grow and accommodate modern new equipment. And ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, let me tell you what, that will be found in these buildings. The same, the same applies for our cutting edge certificate programs such as computer aided dra drafting, pipe drafting, and technical drafting. Collectively, the Southside campus enables us to expand programs under the STEM umbrella, science, technology, engineering, and math. Expanding these programs is critical to preparing our students for the workforce and their futures. The Hospitality and Culinary Institute is, is the third of the centers of excellence that will be housed here. All that wonderful aroma in the air, ladies and gentlemen, that program is the culprit for that, for that demonstration. Tomorrow's chefs and restaurant managers are being trained at Del Mar College by outstanding and dedicated faculty who are sitting here putting up, making taking photographs of us as we're doing this. I'm proud to say that our culinary arts and bakery pastry specialization programs are accredited by the American Culinary Federation, another important benchmark. Hey, how about that? <laughs> Professor Claudia Hurt, there she is. Wave, Claudia, you can't be in the background for everybody. Hospitality and culinary arts are burgeoning programs that have surpassed their ability to expand at Del Mar College's West Campus. The Southside Campus will offer brand new instructional space, including kitchens, a coffee shop, restaurant, and dining facility. The dining facility, by the way, will be open to the public. Stay tuned. Chefs and food services managers, food service managers are in demand with both occupations expected to grow to a robust 11% nationally through 2028, according to the U.S. Bureau of Statistics. I've mentioned a few of the top of the mountain features of the, of the new campus. There are many other features in the design, such as facilities to teach basic core courses, developmental education, dual credit, workforce, and continuing education. Let me emphasize that, ladies and gentlemen. The cores, the basics, the, 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 the bread and butter classes that Del Mar College has been known for for generations will undergird all of the, all of the programs here. The programs we're talking about here are the specialty signature or anchor programs that'll sit on top of those core offerings. All right, Dr. Alvarado, thank you for being here. Thank you for affirming that too. There will also be a library and multi-purpose rooms for, for public use. In a few short years, you are, we're sitting, on, sitting now where Del Mar College's third campus will be located. To put this in perspective, the last time we built a new campus was over 60 years ago. How about that? This is a his, an historic event. Before closing, I'd like to, chair, to echo Chairwoman Scott's sentiment and say thank you to the residents of Corpus Christi for supporting this new chapter in Del Mar College's history. 
I now have the pleasure of introducing Valdar the Viking and our student ambassadors from CCISD, Flower Bluff, London and London ISDs, who will lead us in the Viking Thunderclap. Bear with us a second as we, as we gear up for the Viking Thunderclap. All right, Eagles, cheer squad and band and all of those from London and Flower Bluff and CCISD schools. All, everybody come on up here. And this is a participation thing, ladies and gentlemen, so we're gonna ask that you jump, chime, chime in, jump in with uh, Valdar. I don't know, let's see what my script says. Okay, this will serve as a countdown to the unveiling of a short video that exemplifies our hopes and dreams for the Southside campus and you'll be able to see the video right after we're done here. Valdar students, are you ready? Come on, drums. <laughs> 